Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you as to how we can go ahead and gain access to this system. and uh, yeah, and you already have become the system and you don't you are not the administrator anymore. So let me check. As you can see, previously when I typed, I only had the undock privilege and the change notification privilege and the shutdown privilege, but now I have all the privileges even more than the normal administrator so this is uh, if you think that this is not much I'll show you how we can go ahead and uh, run a remote desktop uh, so I'll just go ahead and type let's say run I don't know exactly this work or not hyphen H and let's see okay so as you can see I have the meter printer over here so if I want to go ahead and gain access through the same uh, terminal I can just type unlike previously where I had to open a separate terminal I can just type get gui hyphen u space the username that is the test user hyphen p and the password is abcd at the red one two three and okay let me check Okay. 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 Sorry, I did a mistake. Uh, GTGUI will go ahead and create another operating system, and the this test users already exist. So what I was trying to do mistakenly was to go ahead and create another user, and uh, I already have one. So let's go ahead and try to create another user if you want. And I'll just go ahead and type uh, test two, or I'll just go ahead and use Mr. Smart underscore smart and the password would be let's say XYZ at the one two three. Let's see if we are able to go ahead and create another account. Perfect. So I have now created another account with the user and if I go ahead and let's check if I how many users are there. And uh, okay, I'll need change uh, manager other account. As you can see I have the Mr. Smart over here already and I can go ahead and access that if I want just by using the remote uh, desktop session. So if you think that this is not much I have already created then I can go ahead and do uh, something else as well. So I'll just go ahead and show you one more thing. It will be uh, execute hyphen h hyphen f command period exe hyphen a slash c net user and uh, since my as you can see I have Mr. Smart as the administrator and I want to go ahead and uh, remove that right now so I can just go ahead and type once I have done and whenever you go ahead and access into someone's computer it's better not to use the same uh, uh, you can say as uh, uh, you want the forensic investigator to uh, not even go ahead and have an idea exactly what you did. So if you go ahead and use the same account uh, which uh, the user has, then the administrator can easily go, administrator or the forensic investigator can easily know that uh, what all things were done because he only has one thing to check. But if you go ahead and create another account, you access that, you do whatever you want to do such as gathering information, gathering data or hijacking all the data from the remote computer uh, and after that if you want you can even go and delete this specific uh, account and then the person will not be able to even know that there was another account created he won't even be able to guess that so now if I after that if you want to go ahead and delete you can just type net you the username net users uh, but the username would be mr underscore smart I believe that is the name okay mr smart and slash delete and I'll hit enter as you can see process 1196 was created it's showing and if I go ahead and uh, try to check as you can see I don't have that account anymore perfect so this is one way of doing that and uh, this is how it works so if this is not it then I'll show you one more thing as you can see I have I can also go to enable remote desktop uh, if I had uh, let me check if I had it disabled let's check if I go ahead and do that let's check what happens if I go ahead and use it over here 
let's see if I'm able to go ahead and enable the remote desktop. As you can see, the remote desktop was disabled. I have enabled it and the terminal services is already set to auto. So there was no necessary and there was if a local firewall open out of which that is a Windows Defender default and I have enabled it right now. So if now I go ahead and check it over here, I, I should be getting that remote desktop is enabled. Perfect. Allow remote con uh, allow connections from computer running any version of desktop. Again, I'll show you something. Apply. I will go over here. I'll go ahead and start that. And now, as you can see, it is still do not allow. I will go ahead and close this. And once this is over, perfect. I will go ahead and check the remote desktop options. Perfect. It is set to allow. And now, uh, the last time it was not working. Let's go ahead and try to gain access to this specific computer. Perfect. It's working right now. So as you can see, I have the remote access to that computer and now I can do anything that I want, uh, but the user over here is already logged out. So this is how it works exactly in detail. And, uh, yep. So that is it for this tutorial guys. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you as to how we can go. What are the different inter interpreter commands? And this is not just it. There are many more things that I would be teaching you such as, um, again, changing directories uploading files and making sure that whenever you upload a file to the remote computer uh, you are going ahead and uh, copying it to your start menu so that whenever the computer starts your uh, the payload automatically runs and i'll be showing you how to go how we can go ahead and read text files create remote directories we can also go ahead and modify the routing as well as forward a local port to our remote uh, computer we can also go ahead and drop into a system command we can even go ahead and steal impersonation tokens and we can also go ahead and shut down and reboot the computer as well. So that is it for this tutorial guys. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next tutorial.